Sagittarius, it's me, Stormy, and here's your horoscope for May 2018. And yes, we are about to shake it up in your work field and in your health field and in your daily routine, Sagittarius. And really, truly, I feel like maybe you guys have been needing this a little bit. Maybe you've been ready for a shakeup in some way, shape, or form. Now, we've got Uranus coming into Taurus this month, plus the new moon happening at the same time. And at the end of the month, we've got a full moon happening in your sign. So I feel like there's a lot of change happening for you this month, but this is the kind of shakeup Sag that I really feel like you've been waiting for in order to get some things moving forward and to also maybe even bring about some resolution to some things. So I think it's gonna be a really awakening kind of month for you because that's what Uranus is about. Uranus is our great awakener. You know, he comes to shake things up. He takes down the structure that you've had there for a very long time because he says, hey, this is not working anymore. We need to do something different. We're in a rut and we need to get out of it. So Uranus coming, even though he does not come gently, he is coming to push you in the direction of something that is a lot more in alignment for you. So we'll talk about that, okay? But let's get in here. I want to right away just get in and get you guys the dates and get you out to enjoy in May and get and prepared to have a good time with this energy and to make all of the adjustments that you need to make as well. So right here at the beginning of the month, before we're really focused in on this Uranian energy, we do have on the third, Mercury moving out of the last part of its shadow time. So this means that Mercury is no longer in any kind of weird holdup in its orbit. He's full forward, he's direct, we've got his blessings, we've got his help, and this is important to understand because he's our communication and our decision-making planet, right? He's our planet that is ruling over the mind, and we've got a lot of change coming up this month, Sag, and over the next few months, really all the way until November. So you really want to have the planet that's structuring around your mind as straight and as clear and giving you as many blessings as possible so you have some help making those decisions and things like that. Now, on the 12th, Mars is going to head into his shadow time before he takes his retrograde in June. Now, Mars, if you're not aware of what that retrograde cycle actually looks like, there's a shadow period, um, a retrograde period, a coming direct period, and then another shadow period. And Mars is coming into the first part. This is where Mars starts to slow down and get ready to make that little Yui, right? To turn around for that retrograde energy. So one of the things I think that is important to understand about the shadow time is that yes, Mars is still direct. You still have his energy helping you, moving you forward, action, energy, assertion, all of those things. Yes, but because he's starting to slow down, I think you're challenged to move and think and question why you're doing what you're doing and to do it very, very purposefully right? You need to ask yourself the question, why am I putting my energy into this? If you find that you're not so interested in something anymore, or you find yourself wondering why you're still interested in something, question that. Follow that question. See where it goes because you're getting ready to in this next retrograde to ask a whole bunch of questions about where you're putting your action and your energy. So this is a wonderful energy to start with, okay? On the 13th, we have Mercury moving over into Taurus into your sixth house. On the 15th, we've got the new moon happening in Taurus in your sixth house, planting those seeds of intention to begin something new. At the same time, we've got Uranus ingress into Taurus as well in the sixth house. So the sixth house is lit for you, Sagittarius. And what this looks like is change, right? May 15th is a big day. Yes, we've got this, this lunation that's happening where we plant Plant these seeds of intention to start something new, have a new adventure, bring something new into your life at this new moon. So it's spectacular. It's a gorgeous opportunity for the new. And then we rush Uranus in there who's coming to bring this great awakening. And there's possibilities get real endless here, right? Because Uranus just says, whatever was here is not working, so I want something else. So there's a possibility that, yes, you could be changing jobs here, or you could even have the courage at this time, Sagittarius, to say, I don't want to do this job. For some of you, this could also be a time where you are like, I don't want to do this job at this company, or I can no longer do this job at this company this way. And Uranus being a technological planet, you could have new technology coming into your place of work. Maybe get an upgrade on your computer or something like that. 
I will tell you in the sixth house I really love this for people who do freelance work because this could shake up your work a little bit if you've been looking for work or you've been wanting to move to something that's more freelance or you want to own your own business or something like that this is a wonderful energy that could put you in that position now on the matters of health as we look at this sixth house this could be a time where yeah you start to take your health more seriously you start to look at it in a different way you change your routine maybe you're saying you know eating this way is not working i want to try out eating this way and you start to learn or bring that energy in something like that you could be joining a gym things like that but the other thing that i keep thinking of as uranus comes into taurus because taurus is slow moving if you've had any kind of pre-existing condition or a condition that's maybe been happening a health issue that maybe you didn't even know about Uranus moving into Taurus can actually bring this to the surface and if you have had a long-standing health issue Uranus could also bring a resolution or a solution or some kind of new treatment to it that you hadn't previously been using before so that's really great and remember in matters of health when we talk about the sixth house Sagittarius this is also mental health Okay, what's going on in here in your head? What is the mental health picture looking like? Because what's happening right here is also translating down here into the body as well, okay? Now on the 16th, we've got Mars moving into Aquarius. This is going to light up your third house. Okay, so this is communication. This is decision making. This is all those things that that very forward Mercury is about, but this time you've got Mars rushing into here. So you could also be networking. Um, it could give you a little bit more um, assertion at going out and talking about something, presenting something, studying something, um, details. It's a very good energy for details. If you've needed to negotiate the fine points of some kind of contract or you've needed detailed energy around something, Mars is really on go here in Aquarius. And because it is in an Aquarian energy, you could be doing some of this going, communicating and things like that, being social on social media or in some technological way as well. On the 19th, Venus moves into Cancer, into this 8th house. She's very comfortable in Cancer here. So this is a wonderful time with Venus here, I think, to bring harmony to anything where you are intimately connected. You know, if you're paying off debt, if you're finishing up taxes, if you're in a romantic relationship and you've, you know, needed to have a little, a little butter, a little magnification, a little something, something put on that, I think that this is a wonderful energy to nurture that. This is also a delicious delicious energy I think for you to nurture your um, sexuality and every piece of what that looks like. This is a great time for you to be studying. Maybe you wanna study some astrology, some psychology, any number of these things really fall really nicely onto your radar in terms of nurturing that intimacy connection that you have with not only yourself, but the world outside of you as well. On the 20th, the sun pops over into Gemini. On the 29th, we have got the full moon happening in your sign as well. We've got Mercury moving into Gemini in the seventh house. So this is this really interesting space for you at the full moon that I think, first of all, it's in your sign. So it leaves you kind of open in terms of the experience of the emotionalism or the feelings behind it. But because the full moon is saying something has to end, I'll end acknowledge be acknowledged or be adjusted and it's in your sign, that means you, something about the way that you're presenting yourself, something about the way that you're moving has to be ended, acknowledged or adjusted. And then you've got Mercury over here in Gemini in the seventh house and you could literally have somebody telling you or you could be seeing how you need to show up differently in relationships and things like that. So this is a wonderful energy that I think as we move towards June kickstarts you into a way of kind of renegotiating how you're showing up in relationships and what you want there. Maybe the relationship you want is one with a better, a better routine in your life, better health, better wellness, um, better career, whatever it is, your adjustment is definitely on the way Sagittarius, okay? All right, guys, like this video, comment, share, subscribe. I look forward to seeing you on $3 Thursdays this month. We're going to talk about Chiron in Aries in the houses. So I look forward to seeing you there. Bye, guys.